What is the proper look for a skateboarder? It's this and this. I almost fell. And how do I feel about all these skaters trying to look the same? I love it. I feel like this is skateboarding's look now. And I think it looks good. You're talking super baggy jeans, either black, dark blue, or washed out. And then you have a large box logo white tee or black tee. So why is this look actually so hard to pull off? These are a lot of my attempts at trying to buy proper skate pants, but there's always something a little off. They're either too tight, too baggy, the high water-ish, just doesn't have quite the right look. When I finally tried to get down to the bottom of all of this, I asked a friend, what kind of pants are you wearing? How are they so baggy and they look really good? Just tell me what pants they are. And I realized that people are ordering sizes like 10 sizes bigger than what they wear and then just strapping on a belt for dear life. Remember when people used to say, oh, why are you wearing that outfit? Because it's comfortable. That's such bull malarkey. The most comfortable looking skateboarder is actually probably Nyjah Houston because he's not wearing that much clothes. The less clothes, the more comfortable. It seems to be the way that it be. These super baggy jeans and having to strap it on with a belt, it's just not comfortable, at least for me. And this is a forever hell that skaters will go through trying to find the right outfits, the right clothes, because yes, we are, lame but i think i finally found the pants that i will just wear potentially forever it's these dickies right here they don't have the super baggy power of the current modern skater but they are actually comfortable the reason i became more comfortable with not being the model image of what a current skater is today is because i was watching this japanese youtube channel and i noticed all these people were wearing pretty much the exact same outfit and pants and then one of the skaters in the group was wearing slightly tighter pants. And I liked how he looked. I don't know if it's my boomerness, but I was just like, it looks kind of good when his pants aren't the baggiest ever. And I think that that's just the image. I know this video seems so corny. I'm sorry. I'm just objectively talking about something everyone thinks about, but it's kind of weird to talk about. Enough pants talk, let's actually go skate. Now we're driving 40 minutes to the skate park that I was going to go to yesterday, but before we get into the session, I actually have some design work that I have to get done. I'm creating a whole line of merchandise for my wife's YouTube channel, and that creative life, I think is what one of them, and then Stay Peachy, which is her other trademark. So I wanna spend the morning doing that because I'm gonna get royalties for it. So, you know, it's like, hey, why not try to be a part of it? But it's fun too, I love designing with a pash. I was in there for like four hours and I forget how much I love just to zone in and work on designs but which one is your favorite because Sarah said the first one is just it she was like yeah that that's gonna be the logo the first couple t-shirts but yeah let me know what you think because I liked honestly all of them not to toot my own whatever but all, all of them took a while and I kind of got them to where I like them. I'm eating a lot for lunch. I skipped breakfast, okay? So no judging. Even though I could have just not shown you all this all together, but I usually go to the manga store while I'm out here, but I have been spending way too much money on manga. So let's just go to the skate park, then go home. It's also cold, so I'd rather just not be like out in a boot. Woo! We're at the skate park and I have a two hour window for two reasons. One, I wanna beat traffic on the way home. And two, I'm trying to be somewhat tolerant of my lower back. I've kind of been going ham as soon as it was like kind of healed. And I can tell that I'm pushing it a little too far. So two hour session and then I just have to force myself to leave, but it is cold. because I can't bend the way I want to because of my back. I was still able to learn two new tricks. I've never done the switch blunt big spin or the big spin front board body burial. So I love learning new tricks. I just heard one of the dudes screaming and holding his nuts. I think his board popped up and hit him, but he seems fine. Oh, he's, he's already skating again. Okay. <laughs> I just heard like, ah! What a day, it's already 3.43 and we're already on the way back home. So I assume that the video will be ending 
right around now. But I wanted to actually end by talking about this idea. I got a comment, I've gotten many comments. I'm a skateboarder and I'm older, but I just learned a new trick and I had a really good day and I still try to get into new things all the time. The sucky thing about even being a kid or being anything is that you can't do everything. No child can try everything that they want to try and a lot of people don't get to try many of the things that they want to do. So when you get older, that's kind of the opportunity to try something new. In fact, there's a guy right to the right right now who's playing volleyball by himself and he looks like he's like 35. He gets the chance to do it right now. So I thought of this quote by Berkeley Breathe that says, it's never too late to have a happy childhood. If you have the opportunity when you get older to try something new, please don't let it be in your head that now is not the right time because I'm older. I think there's that super viral Joe Rogan thing where I think somebody asked him like, day it's like, God, I wish I started when I was younger. I go, well, yeah, but you didn't. So shut the fuck up and let's <laughs> right. keep going. Which I think is like the most amazing thing ever. So I will continue till the day I die, trying new things and doing new things that might even be associated with being a kid. I might get into soccer when I'm 75 years old. And I hope that everyone out there takes the opportunity of life not to think that you can't try things because it doesn't fit your age or standard of coolness. I think that's probably the saddest way you can live. So I hope you enjoyed another video. I'm uploading them every day right now. So come back tomorrow for your daily dose of pep hype. Take care, progress daily, and keep killing it.